In this video, we're going to talk about where to find the available sales reports in Infusionsoft, how to save a report and put that on your dashboard, and how to customize a report to show certain statistics that you want to see on your dashboard. To look at the available sales reports, hover over the Infusionsoft icon and under the e-commerce heading, go to Reports. Here you will see a list of all of the e-commerce reports or sales reports that are available to you. So as you can see, there are several. We have the Accounts Receivables Aging Summary Report, Subscription Revenue Summary Report, All Sales Total Reports,
and it will show you that report again. Now because we saved it to your dashboard, let's go ahead and go to your dashboard to see if it's there. And voila, the saved report is there. Now what if you just want to see how many people actually purchased from that time period? So what you would need to do now is add a custom statistics widget. And to do that, click on add widgets here. Scroll down and look for custom statistics and click on add to dashboard. So it's going to prompt you to choose either a saved search or a saved report. So we're going to click on save to report. We're going to choose count how many records are in a search or report. Choose the category, which is order, and select your saved report, which is December 2015 sales. And then just hit save. So as you can see, it shows us that there were 213 orders in December 2015 sales. Now, what if I want just a sum of invoices during that time frame? So you can click on add another stat. Still from that same sales report, we're going to click on saved report. But instead of count, we're going to use sum to add up the numbers from one of the columns in a report and show the total. All categories again, order. Select the save report. Again, we're going to go back to December 2015 sales. And this time, it asks you to select a column. So we're going to go to invoice total and change the title of the statistic. We're going to name it invoice total. And hit save. So now we have a very good report here. If you want to monitor your sales from December 2015 or any other month for that matter, you can create this custom statistics. So for December 2015, I've had 213 orders and the invoice totals of these orders was this amount. Of course, you can add more statistics here as much as you want. Each widget can hold up to 10 statistics. So even if there are pre-made reports, you're not just bound to those reports. You can create custom reports and put them on your dashboard. So that's how you view all of the pre-made sales report save those reports that you have filtered or customized, and create custom statistics on your dashboard.